Plastics by CJ Casarino, Stephen Cho, and Curtis Lau. While we understand the capabilities of 3D design with Creo Parametric, PTC also offers some useful tools to help design plastic parts, specifically in the molding process. The basis of these tools is to allow simulation of the injection molding process in order to analyze plastic part design and to have a starting point before the time and money is supplied into creating tools and initial shots. While the correct design considerations should be thought of and implemented when designing a plastic part, it is very difficult to predict every possible aspect to a plastic part such as correction injection points or areas with restricted flow. This is why having software that can simulate a flow process is very useful. The various software and tools created by PTC allows engineers to select from an extremely large database of plastic materials in order to increase accuracy of the design. Another aspect is to find the best gate location based on number of gates, gate size, and direction as well as the ability to optimize certain sides of a part for appearance. From there, a user can compare the results from each fill location with animation tools to observe the flow through the part and can then analyze these results to see fill time and cooling time. Once the simulation is completed, engineers can view potential issues of a part such as air traps, weld lines, and degradation. The software will even guide engineers to improve or remove some of these issues, such as molding temperature, reducing the amount of gates, reducing filling time, choosing a different material, or increasing injection speed. While these tools are not perfect or exact, they increase the possibility of getting a good part the first time, reducing the de design and iteration process, and can reduce the cost of changing a design or even changing a tool. The specific tools that PTC offers are extensions in PTC Creo Parametric. There are a few extensions specific to plastic part design in Creo Parametric. The first is the mold analysis extension called Creo Mold Analysis or CMA. CMA allows analysis through simulation of molten plastic being poured into a part with fast and easy to understand analysis tools. It provides reliable data and has powerful simulation capabilities that allow engineers to see how the mold will function when molten plastic enters the cavity. The next extension is called Tool Design Extension, or TDX. TDX is for single or multi-cavity molds with focus on ease of use for occasional users with feedback and tips on the quality of the tool. This extension guides a user through the process while providing advice on the design. It means less work and redesign for the user and a quicker and cheaper path to a finished design of complex tooling. The final extension is called Expert Mold Base Extension or EMX. EMX allows engineers to create mold based layouts in a 2D environment and will automatically create a 3D model to receive the benefits of 3D design. The 3D design is the base for interference checking during the mold opening and can be used in the automatic generation of production detail drawings and bill of materials. Bundles of these extensions are provided so engineers have the flexibility of single tools or have the powerful combination of all three in order to accomplish their plastic design objectives. This software is extremely effective. Instead of analyzing a part after it has been created, where flaws in part design would not be noticed until a mold tool was made, new parts can be analyzed immediately. One of the most useful applications is creating correct sized runners so a balanced filling can be achieved which will eliminate quality issues with uneven fill times. Another very useful aspect of this software is knowing the machine size in advance. This allows part cost to be more accurate since large machines cost more and helps with machine scheduling and planning. The disadvantages to simulation is whatever you put into it is what you will get out. If wrong or inaccurate information is supplied, then a poor or inaccurate result will be produced. This is why PTC and other companies offer a very expensive material library. However, some factors are near impossible to encounter for, such as reused plastics where the properties have changed since it has already gone through a melting process along with different materials provided by different vendors of plastics. To get the correct properties, lab tests must be performed. This can take a few weeks to analyze and even cost up to thousands of dollars. Another disadvantage is the meshing of a part. 
This breaks up the model into little sections that are calculated piece by piece. The smaller the mesh, the more accurate, as it is closer to being a full continuous part. However, this can take heavy computational power and time, and where an engineer has one computer to work with, it can cause tremendous backlog as you wait for an analysis to complete. And if you go the other way, where the mesh is large, you will receive inaccurate results. Even including the disadvantages, this software is very useful because it gives a good starting point before a part and tooling is created. At the very least, a bad simulation still will produce some results that will give insight that would only have been seen by making the part. While the software will not completely eliminate the need to iterate through the design process, it can, it can tremendously reduce the time and the money involved. Effectiveness. 